welcome and happy new moon to you. It is I, your girl, Banna BB, and this is going to be an unboxing like no other. Now, I've been seeing this brand on Instagram, on social media, back to back because they look like they have these pretty candles. And I even lit one of my fave new candles over here. This is something I got from the neighborhood. It's actually a black owned um, boutique in the neighborhood of Hyde Park here in Chicago called Silver Spoon. It's an all soy candle. It smells so sweet and good and it's got the neighborhood of Chatham, which is near and dear to me. Chatham is my second home in Chicago neighborhood wise. So I got this candle. For all of the big neighborhoods in Chicago, they have a candle. If you all are curious about what candle is lit in the back, I figured I would tell you guys about this before I get into the other candles. But spiritual and paid candles i've been seeing them everywhere i am so into crystals medical physical <laughs> i know that there are going to be people watching this that are christian and i do identify as christian as well i do understand that crystals were used for protection in parts of the bible as well and i do understand that all the power of the world comes from the magnificent God that I too worship, but I do believe that he's given us the power of manifestation. He's given us the power to put whatever intentions we want in our candles. So please be mindful before you come into my comments saying all of that, this is devil worship and stuff. I'm really not for that and you will get blocked, okay? Nevertheless, I was just super excited when I saw these candles because they look so beautiful. So I love the fact that these are intentional candles but they're just so pretty i've gotten a couple of intention candles from etsy.com that i think are really pretty but to see that this is a beautiful girly company that has these really pretty candles and things that already have that i was like "Ooh, let me get some so i figured i just got my box today let me go and unbox this right here for you guys to see on youtube since some of you might be unfamiliar with this company Oh, I love them. They give me thank you cards. This was a complete set. These. So this was actually a bundle. These are the candles that I got in a bundle. They consisted of Rich Bay. This is a 10 ounce natural soy wax, gem and herb infused candle. And then I've got the positive vibes or good vibes only candle, which is the blue one, which is gonna be so good in my living room since my living room is blue. Spiritual and paid is like a metaphysical glam. If you've ever been like metaphysical store to get like pretty crystals and stuff, like those things are usually like dark and witchy looking like spiritual and paid they look all lit and pretty so their whole theme to their brand is being metaphysical glam which is perfect for the gals like me so this love spell candle it's got look it's got glitter herbs rose quartz you know in it the little warning sign at the bottom of the candle but i mean look how pretty that is it smells like rose and beauty like oh this candle is a beauty candle i'm gonna keep this one in my bedroom i've got the rich bay candle i think this is tiger's eye in it it's so pretty as well mm, smells fresh but green it doesn't quite smell like money and this is supposed to be like a money intention candle and i'm definitely gonna intend to put to pray about some money. You know, we always like the money, it's just a rich aunt. Then I've got my good vibes only candle, which is supposed to be very, let's see. Now this is the one I think I smelled the most. It smells like cotton candy. Like how could you not be at peace smelling this candle? Like it's very, very, peaceful like this is the one i'm gonna put in my living room that i use for meditation it's got some pretty little crystals in there it's glittery as well so those candles that i got in the bundle those are some of the most popular ones and so i'm just happy i got it now the other candle that i got because i got another money candle 
because you know rich aunt teens i got big things to manifest this is the seven figure dream candle this was one of their newer ones but it was like more expensive than the rich bay candle and you know it had some good reviews on it very little crystals in that one mm, but it, this is the loud smelling one it's loud i like it Ooh. okay be hard like to review a candle to see if the manifestation works what people don't understand about metaphysical metaphysical just goes beyond physical if you're not a christian you're devoted to not believing in christianity or the other world or other spirits you're blocking yourself off from receiving any type of energy positive or negative from that the same way if you're blocked from metaphysical things you're not going to receive that energy the same way as in the law of attraction book states if your doubts are subconsciously inside of you it doesn't matter how much you say something, those doubts that are in your subconscious are gonna block out any of the intentions that you set. So I don't think that it's fair to really judge a, a candle, a crystal, a necklace, or anything. It's gonna depend on your belief system, in my opinion. I'm a believer, I believe in what I believe in. I believe that I have the power of the tongue. You guys saw that in my book, The Trinity of Healing, The Holistic Guide to Reviewing Autoimmune Disease. I will leave that link below for you guys to check that out but one of the first things that i talk about in reversing autoimmune disease is your belief system do you believe that you can do it that applies to literally everything like henry ford said whether you believe you can or you can't you're absolutely right does rose quartz have the power of manifesting new love or manifesting self-love in your life if you believe it maybe if not, then no. If you believe it's witchcraft and it's woohoo, hoodoo, blasphemy, and it's nonsense, and it doesn't make sense, that's absolutely what you spoke into it. I believe that no matter what religion you are or anything, like we all have the same power of manifestation. Even the most Scientologist people will have affirmations that they have because it's literally known that you can program your subconscious and those who do will get farther in life than those who don't so are the candles gonna work if it's gonna be it's up to me i also got this the love spell oil to match my my candle i heard this stuff smell really good it's got its little herbs in it, it says i am the embodiment of love so Mmm, and it smells good. My reasoning behind getting this, I have this Pure Instinct Pheromone Oil, okay? And I heard that pheromone perfume oils are supposed to, you know, attract more people to your pheromones. I have worn this quite a few times, and I do believe that oils last longer than perfumes. And as a perfume nista, you guys have seen my budget perfume haul, if you haven't check it out but i love these oils i do believe that um you know i get a little bit more touchy attention when i put this on you know somebody's a little bit on my neck i'm like really into any oil that they say is going to attract you know i look at this as it's probably a pheromone oil but on crack because it's got intentions of love and manifesting love and attracting more self-love to yourself you know i've also been doing these uh these manifestation uh meditations for self-love and i feel like i've been looking better because subconsciously i have been telling myself like you're beautiful you attract you this you that so i think this just goes right on hand in hand with the way i feel about myself like i'm adding more love into my life i'm adding more this into my life i just i don't know we gonna see but it smells heavenly i don't do love spells or any i don't believe in like spell work or any type of 
uh, manipulation of other people's emotions. But I, I'm not here for the witches that be doing the love spells on people. I'm I am Creole blooded, okay? And I'm telling you, that's not good. Those <laughs> people who do those, it never works out for them. You do not want to have to manipulate people to love you. That's not love. That's a whole different entity if you ask me don't don't get love spell confused it's called love spell oil like the love spell candle it's you know i'm sure there's other things named love spell but let me put that out there but it's supposed to be a really good scented fragrance oil that just brings the intention of good love like oh i love it i, I love this i can tell you that this smells delicious so I have completed my spiritual and paid unboxing. You guys know there's no community without the you and the I. So let me know what you think with your questions, comments, and concerns below. Check me out on social media. And in the meantime, in between time, it's your girl, Bad on BB, over and out.